Yes, yeah, so this is an example of some work we've been doing, sort of um, looking at the creative side rather than sort of research side with some of our digital collections. So one of the things I love doing, so I'm not really a collections person in the library, you come from the digital side, but one of the things I love looking at is essentially what interests me, what interests sort of the person on the street. So our sort of highest used collections really is precisely that. Um, it's our map collections. We've digitised um, the whole of the UK, all the maps we have. Um, so right down, you, you can see this is London, so that's sort of the map of what the British, or the site of the British Library was like 100 years ago and so forth. Um, actually about two thirds of all the web traffic we get, the National Library of Scotland goes to our maps just because it's such a good site you can sort of overlay them in 3d topologically and stuff so it's it's a really sort of highly usable site for people now recently it was actually for a research project we found out that we digitized um, past exam papers now these are one of the things that have person on the street probably wouldn't imagine the National Library has but we do we have sort of all our past exam papers in Scotland going back to 1889 um, and so a number of us jumped on this thought this is going to be another one that's really really interesting to people because um, we get the sort of interface right people will just you know they'll want to go back and say well actually can I see the exams that I did you know show me my physics exam from 1967 and up it pops so these are all sort of um, yeah or actually I was or more like do I have to look at them sort of thing it's 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 more like that actually but so we have all these digitized they're all obviously online triple um, IF universal viewer they're all fully indexed so that we can jump because they were sort of published um, bound up so you know you'll want to jump to page 39 to find your Latin exam so they're all sort of um, fully indexed and so forth and then um, our, our head of um, sort of modern collections general collections Graham Hawley had a great idea he said I bet these will make a wonderful trigger for creative works so he applied for a little bit of money from our um, National Librarians um, Innovation Fund and he basically picked so he didn't sort of say here's our digital collections do creative things with them he picked three exam questions and said do creative things with those so he wanted two dances based on the 1932 geometry section two so this is uh, but it makes sense you sort of geometry all about shapes and then the dance you can do with that um, visual artwork based on the 1937 general paper question two so this is a uh, creative writing one and then two p musical performances punk indie or choral based on a maths question so these are very very specific um, and it worked perfectly it was it absolutely blew us away so we had dozens and dozens of applications we then had to sort of narrow those down to the ones that we could give the money to we gave them a thousand pounds each so it wasn't you know these weren't big commissions um, they were quite small but s sort of some of these really blew us away so um, the best thing is actually go away maybe on the train home and watch or the flight home and watch these um, so this one was yeah musical response to a mathematics question um, so we sort of basically documented a video of each one so he talks about how um, where are we he sort of yeah, so it has a graph in the question and he basically used that to sort of change the, um, the volume of the choral work as it goes sort of tracked through that graph. Um, yeah, this one which they filmed with a drone above um, a fort on the Isle of Skye and sort of had different people singing at different points according to the maths equation. Um, this one, so this was one of the... Um, so this was from the creative writing question, so he basically wanted to reproduce some of the ideas in that, so he used Scottish roadkill, found a dead deer on the road, turned that into vellum, um, sort of used sort of um, traditional illuminated manuscripts of techniques to develop one, and because this, this, this piece of work talks about, I think, a dead um, crow, then splattered it with fake blood at the end, so really, really sort of creative works. Um, a ballet one, so again there was two ballet dances actually performed in the National Library, so this is our main staircase um, based on the shapes from the um, geometry question. And actually probably our favourite one is this, which is actually really a, it's a sort of five minute short story really, but uh, danced, um, but really looking at the interplay between the, the stress of someone taking an exam um, and sort of the invigilator who has nothing to do in that exam and the interplay between them and it really is actually quite a moving piece. So I would sort of um, yeah, recommend watching it, it's absolutely fantastic. And then really it sort of started us thinking, so we call that reset, you sort of reset your exam, what else might we be able to do? So the next one might be replay. So we, um, we had this 3D scanned photogrammetry 
um, a couple of months ago. This is basically, it's essentially a pop-up book, but it's, it's very large, it's a stage set. So this travelled around Scotland in the 70s, strapped to the top of a minibus. Um, they would take it to a village hall, they would take it out, they would perform the play in the evening. Um, and so, you know, we could probably give this to illustration students or to drama students, they could sort of reenact it on top of the 3D model, you know, so sort of green screen, that sort of thing. To give you a hint of the actual size of it, that's sort of um, in, in um, yeah, in scale. If you actually want to see it, it's just gone on 25 year loan to the new v &A Museum in Dundee, which opens tomorrow. So if you ever, ever happen to be up in Dundee in the next 25 years, um, <laughs> you'll be able to see it, but, but it's fab that we've done it in 3D because obviously they, they'll probably only, I suspect, turn the page once every five years, so you can actually see all the, all the 3D models. Um, so so yeah, that's the web address if you want to have a look at it. And I love this quote that's sort of on it, because obviously in an exam, a question has an answer. Um, but you know, the same question never results when we look at these creatively in the same answer. The human ability to imagine and create based on a single prompt is unbound. And I think, I suppose that's what, what um, the feedback we got from the artists was actually that they never would have thought, to look, first of all, to look at our collections, and if they did, they would never have thought to look at exams. But actually, you know, there was a punk band that used a past exam paper, and they said, we'd been stuck. We, hadn't, we didn't know how to write our next performance piece, but this just jolted us and just gave us a very different way of thinking about things. So sort of, yeah, that worked with creatives. It was just, yeah, sort of blew us away how, how, how well it went. Thank you.